They killed someone spiritually and placed a coffin at their door. But God is satisfying someone with long life. God is satisfying someone right now with long life. Beloved, some people have been killed spiritually. They've been destroyed spiritually. Even before the physical manifestation. Because it is what goes on in the spirit that manifests physically. They have killed someone in the spirit. Put the person in the coffin and buried. And Christ said in this moment that I should release this message to somebody. That some of you are not been feeling alright. And you're like asking yourself what has been going on. It's because they had decreed a spiritual death on you or on your close ones. And they had already conducted everything in the spirits. In fact, even made your funeral service. And God has to tell someone this moment that even though they did all of those things in the spirit so that they could manifest physically, he's here to cancel those things. The Lord said he's here to cancel those things. He's here to cancel all their actions. All their ordinances written. All their activities performed in the spirit. The Lord had counseled them in the name of Jesus. And he had counteracted those things. Put things in opposite direction. God is giving you life this moment. God is giving someone life this moment. God has removed that spiritual coffin. The spiritual death sentence. There's the spiritual traps that is set for you. The Lord has removed those things this moment. Listen, beloved. Some of you can't... My God. Someone was about to go out and not, and, and not come back alive. But you know what? You're going and you're coming in. You shall be protected. You're going out and coming in. You shall be saved. You're going out and coming in, you shall be blessed. They had made a decree and set a day. But that date shall come and pass. No harm shall befall you, nor any member of your family. In the name of Jesus. They had mentioned your name. And had already set some things in place. And wanted to call your name, to mention your name. But the Lord is saying, that my son, my daughter, they shall, they shall call your name and call your name in vain. For you shall not hear that name in the spirit. You shall not answer that name in the spirit. They had already given your name and written your name down and, 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 and began to enchant on your name. My God, that exercise is fruitless. Say the Lord of hosts, that exercise is, is fruitless in the name of Jesus. With all that they had done in the spirit. All those weapons that they had fashioned against in the spirit. Beloved, I saw many weapons being fashioned. They fashioned those weapons. Fashioned all manners of weapons. It's a weapon to set you up. To bring you down. To cause situations to be hard for you. The Lord is saying this moment that those weapons shall not form against you. And they shall not even prosper against you. Those weapons that have been formed, even though the ones that have been formed, they shall not prosper against your life. And those that are about to be formed shall not form in the name of Jesus. You are protected. You are protected. But what really got me worried was the, the spiritual coffin that they had laid at your door. Even in your house. They had made the coffin. They had already, you know, decided. Some of you that had already decided on the day that you were going to, you were going, you going to die. But God is turning that around this moment. God is bringing back your soul. God is reviving your soul. If they are taking your soul away from you, God is bringing back your soul. God is bringing back your soul. Beloved, share this message. Share this message. For those whose souls have been taken away, God is restoring your soul in the name of Jesus. God is calling back your soul into your body in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Some of you, they took your souls without you even knowing Without you even understanding. Hallelujah. They said those things for you without, without your knowledge. You didn't do anything to marry this kind of situation. But some of you just woke up one morning and you felt sick. You felt really so weak. 
Because I, I, they have already programmed your death in the spirit. They have already programmed things to go opposite in your life in the spirit. But the Lord you are God is yet to restore you in the name of Jesus. The Lord, is yet, the Lord you are God is yet, is yet to restore your spirit, your mind, your heart, your body, your soul. They are coming in, 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 in one this moment in the name of Jesus. You are protected. You are protected. Someone is being delivered this moment. Your enemies, beloved, they did that. <laughs> Psalms 40 verse 14. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Mm. Let those who are let, let those be ashamed and humiliated together. Who seek my life to destroy it? Let those who turned back and dishonored, who delight in my hurts. Glory be to God. Yes, those who are seeking your life, seeking your soul, beloved, to destroy it, are about to be put to shame. They are about to be dishonored. They are about to fall into those very traps. They are about to encounter exactly what they had programmed against your life in the spirit. They are about to see the handiwork of God in your life. They are about to see that you serve a living God. A God that never fails. They are about to see that no weapon that ever falls against you shall prosper. They are about to see. I don't really know how to put this message, beloved. But God is decreeing life in someone this moment. God is decreeing life in someone this moment. The Lord your God is satisfying you with long life. They had wish to cut your life short. They had wished on, they had programmed untimely death for you, but untimely death shall not be your portion. In the name of Jesus. If you listen to this message this moment, the Lord your God is decreeing and He's saying that untimely death is not your portion. Untimely death is not your portion. For you shall live to see your children's 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 children in the name of Jesus. You shall live to accomplish God's purpose for your life in the name of Jesus. You shall live to spread the gospel. You shall live to heal the planet. Mm. You shall live to fulfill the promises of God in your life. Any coffin programs for you or for, the, for your family members is broken. The coffin is broken. It is taken away. You are free. You are free. You are free. You are free. There shall be no crying in your family. There shall be no weeping in your family. There shall be no mourning in your family. Hallelujah. You shall live to rejoice. You shall live to rejoice. Your children shall, shall rejoice because, because of you being alive. And you shall rejoice because your children are alive or because your family is alive. Hallelujah. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. You are blessed. If there is anything that is happening around you, those things shall not come near your dwelling because you are protected. You are protected. You are under the shot of the Most High God. You are binding. Under the shadows of the Almighty. You are protected. He's your rock and your fortress. Glory be to God. He's your refuge. You are protected. You are protected. Please go ahead and read Psalms 91. Hallelujah. Go, and read, go ahead and read Psalms 91. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. See you in the next video.